Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with game two of the series between the 1987 Giants and the 1977 L.A. Dodgers. Now, if you've been following the series, you know that the L.A. Dodgers lost game one <clears throat> at home by a score of seven to two. And we are still in L.A. for Game 2. And so we're going to see if uh, they can even the series here at home before they go on the road to San Francisco. Uh, pitching today on the mound for the uh, L.A. Dodgers and finishing his warm-up tosses is Rick Roden. And uh, he's getting ready to face Robbie Thompson. Of the Giants and we are ready to get going with that so without any further delay let's get on with it Robbie Thompson and he gets a 3-5 which is a walk and we do have a Rob Thompson so I gotta gotta get to my my cards here I've shown you the cards in game one, so I'm, yeah, using my baseball cards when I have them, and I do have him, so he's aboard. In fact, I think I've got most of the Giants lineup. That brings up Jose Uribe. He gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. One away. That's the first strikeout for Roden. And up steps Will the Thrill Clark, and he gets a 4-9, which is, that's a double 1-13, to 13, or a single, and it, but it's going to be a double, and that'll move Thompson to third, and Will Clark is on board with a double, and there's only one out here so far, so Roden is already in trouble, second double of the uh, series for um, for Will Clark. And that brings up Kevin Mitchell. And he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The infield was not in, so we'll see what happens here. But the second baseman for the Dodgers is Davey Lopes, and he's a 3, and that's a 5. And 5-3 and three is an out 3 Runner on first is outgoing to second. Completion of double play. Other runners advance one base. So I think though in this in this uh, particular position nobody scores. So uh, so that was Mitchell. He's out, and now there's two down with still with runners at second and third. Clark and Thompson and Maldonado up, and he gets a two ten, <coughs> which is a ground ball. So despite um, threatening there, San Francisco comes away with nothing. We go to the bottom of the first, <laughs> and in the bottom of the first, they are going to lead off with Bill Russell. And pitching for the Giants is going to be Rick Russell against Bill Russell. And that's a 6-12, which is an out. Ground ball to second base. Or no, ground ball to the pitcher. So Russell throws it first, and Russell, Bill Russell's out. Or, yeah. That brings up Davey Lopes. He gets a 5-10. That's a ground ball to third. That is... Um, the third baseman is Chris Spire, and he's a three. And that's a one, so that's a single. <clears throat> Davey Lopes gets aboard. First hit off Russell. Gets by Spire. Dusty Baker's up. He gets a 6-3, which is a ground ball first base C. That moves uh, Lopes to second. Or, yeah. That moves Lopes to second. And that brings up Reggie Smith with two down and a man at second. And he gets a 4-10, which is a fly ball to right field. And Reggie Smith is out. 
So LA does a little bit of a threat there, but they don't get any runs. We go to the top of the second. Jeffrey Leonard's up and he gets the 2-4, which is a ground ball to short, so he's out. Chris Spire gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be a single for Chris Spire, trying to atone for his earlier not being able to make the play on that ball down the line. Chili Davis gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a pop out to first base. So I believe that's two out. And with Spire at first and two down, here comes Bob Brenly. He gets a 4-7 which is a single. And I think we have Bob Brenly. In fact, I think we have uh, Spire as well. Yes, we, do. we have Spire, so we'll put him out at second. And we do have Bob Brenly, so we'll put him at first. And that brings up Robbie Thompson. And he gets 5-8, which is a walk. So now the bases are full of Giants after two have been retired. And that's the second time this game Thompson has walked. <clears throat> and that brings up Jose Uribe, and he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball B. And he is out, and that's it for the Giants, who come away with nothing despite challenging again. And Russell goes back out to the mound. He'll face Ron Say. He gets a strikeout. That's first K for uh, Russell. Steve Garvey's up. He gets a 5-4, which is a home run 1-3 or a fly ball. And it is going to be a fly ball to left. Garvey is out. Two down. And Rick Monday up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a single. So Rick Monday is aboard with two out. Second hit allowed for Russell. And Lee Lacey's up, and that's a 4-8. And that is a single one to 16. And that is also a single. So the Giant or the Dodgers have two on with two out, and Steve Yeager up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a double one to three or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. And um, scores a run, and Jaeger, I do have a Jaeger card, so Jaeger's at first with his base hit, key base hit that gives the Dodgers the lead. And that brings up Bill Russell, and he gets a 4-8, which is a single one to 16, and that is also a single, so another run scores, and, uh, Jaeger goes to second. And that's a second run that crosses for the Dodgers. They have a 2-0 lead here. And up steps Davey Lopes. He gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball to short. So that's the end of the inning. But not before the Dodgers get two runs and take the lead. 2-0, we go to the top of the third. And Roden back out to the mound. To face Will Clark. And he gets a 6-7. Which is a fly ball. One away. And that was a fly ball to center. If you're scoring at home. Kevin Mitchell gets a 6-5. Which is a ground ball to the third baseman. X. And he is a 2. That's say and that's going to be a single and that's Kevin Mitchell 
think I might have a Kevin Mitchell. No, I do not have a Kevin Mitchell, so we're just going to put him out there. Fifth hit allowed by Roden <clears throat> with one down and Maldonado up, and he gets a 2 5, which is a single 1 to 11. And that is actually going to be a line out to the shortstop, so there's two away. And two down, runner at first, Jeffrey Leonard up. He gets a 2-2, two -two, which is a pop out to short. And I don't think, no, San Francisco did not get a run. So we go to the bottom of the third, where the Dodgers are up. And they are holding a 2 nothing lead. And Russell is still on the mound. Dusty Baker's up. He gets a 6-4, which is a fly to center. The center fielder for the Dodgers is uh, Rick Monday, and he's a 2. And, or no, for the Dodgers, or for the Giants. For the Giants, it's Chili Davis, and he's a 3. And that's a 5-3. I think that's still an out. Yes, it is. So Baker is retired. That brings up Reggie Smith. He gets a 5-12, which is a fly ball to left field. That's two away. And that brings up Ron Say, and he gets a 5-8. And 5-8 is a walk. And I don't think I have a Ron Say. I'll, uh, I do somewhere. I, I was going to look for the uh, baseball cards of guys that I don't have out here. And I did not do that, but I'm, I'm sure somewhere I've got a Ron Say. And Steve Garvey's up with two down and a man at first. And he gets a single one to six. And that will, in fact, be a line out to third base. So no runs come across for... The Dodgers in the third inning, we go to the top of the fourth. And that puts Roden back out on the mound. And he'll be facing Chris Spire. He gets a 110, which is a line out to shortstop. Chili Davis is up. He gets a 4 8, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be a single for Chili Davis. And I do have Chili Davis. So he's aboard. He's two for five in the series. Roden's sixth hit allowed. Friendly up, he gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball shortstop double play. That is at least two out, and I believe that's what it is, two out. Uh, Brenly out, and that brings up Robbie Thompson. He gets a 4-8, which is a single. So Robbie Thompson's been on all three times in this game. And Uribe comes up after him. He's got a 4-5, which is a strikeout. Roden striking out only his second guy. No runs coming across for San Francisco. We go to the top or the bottom of the fourth. And Russell's still out there. He's only losing 2 nothing. So Monday is up. He gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout. One away. Uh, 
Lee Lacey gets a 6-7, which is the ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Uribe, who is a 1. And that's a 1. I think that's an out. And it is. So Lacey retired, and that brings up... Whoa. Where happened to that dice? There it is. And that brings up... Steve Yeager. Steve Yeager gets a walk. And I do have Steve Yeager actually, so he's aboard. Yeager not doing too badly. He's one of the worst hitters on the uh, Dodgers for that year. Having, well, no, I mean, he wasn't terrible, though. This particular year, he wasn't hit terrible. He hit 256, but he's three for five with a walk in the series. And Bill Russell's up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a single, which moves him to, moves Yeager to second. Sixth hit allowed by Russell. Russell's given up a lot of hits, but he's still keeping the Giants technically in the game. 5-12, though, that's a walk. To Davy Lope. So the bases are loaded with Dodgers right now. And now Russell is really in trouble. And Dusty Baker up and he gets a 410, which is a line out, or no, a fly ball to left field. So that's it for the Dodgers. They threaten, but they don't quite get it through. No runs, we go to the top of the fifth inning. And uh, Roden's still out there, maintaining his two, still got his two nothing lead. Will Clark up, 1 9, which is a fly ball to center, is one away. Kevin Mitchell gets 2 8, which is a strikeout. Both of these guys have allowed, both of these pitchers have allowed a lot of men on base. 5-12 for Maldonado is a fly ball to left field, and he's out. We're going to go to the bottom of the fifth. Um, Rick Russell is still out there on the mound. Still has the Giants in the game. It's, I mean, it's only 2 nothing. Reggie Smith is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base. One away. Ron Say is up. That's a 2-5, which is a strikeout. And that brings up Steve Garvey, who gets a 5-7, which is a single. So Steve Garvey is aboard. And that's his first hit of the series, too. Seventh hit allowed by Russell. And Rick Monday up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a pop-out to second base. So no runs come across for L.A. In the fifth, we go to the bottom, uh, or the top of the sixth. San, San Francisco up. Still batting against Rush or Roden. Roden and Russell, both guys giving up a lot of hits, bending but not quite breaking. And Jeffrey Leonard comes up. He gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball third base. One away. Chris Spires up. He gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be a single. So Spire with a hit. Spire's another guy. He's actually having a very good series. He's four for seven with a triple. Um, even though he's not known as being one of the the better hitters in this 87 uh, Giants lineup. Chili Davis up with an out. Oh, that was actually Spire. So, In fact, I do have a Spire, so let's go get him. Chili Davis up with one down and Spire aboard. And that's a 6-7, which is a um, 
fly ball center field, two away. And Brenly's up, and he gets a 4 9, which is a double 1 to 13, or a single. And that will be a single double asterisk, so Spire will go to third. And Brenly, who I do have also, is at first. So with two down, the Giants have runners at the corners. Roden having allowed his seventh hit. Thompson up. He gets a 3-7, which is a fly ball. So that's the first time Thompson got out this game, and it couldn't have come at a worse time for the Giants, as they still maintain, or as, as they are still down by two runs. Because Rick Russell has allowed two runs, and he allowed those back in the second, but he hasn't been... Um, he hasn't allowed any runs since. So, that will, yes. And that will bring up the, the uh, Dodgers with Lee Lacey. The DH, he gets a single one to 12. And that is a single. Lee Lacey gets a board. Eighth hit allowed by Rush. Jaeger's up. He gets a 210, which is a triple one or a double. That is going to be a double. Now the Giants have to bring the infield in because it's getting late and uh, they can't really afford, with the way the offense has been going, they can't afford to allow any more runs. And that brings up. Uh, Bill Russell, who gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single and knock in two runs. Bill Russell is also having himself quite a series, 5 for 9, with three RBIs. And now the Giants are losing 4 nothing. Davey Lopes is up. That's a 4-8. That's a single one to 16. That's going to be a single. And now Russell's just falling apart. And you had to have seen this coming um, from a mile away. And now it is manifesting itself with Dusty Baker at the plate. And he strikes out one away. Reggie Smith is up. That's a 4-9. That is a pop-out to first, two away. The Dodgers just, or the Giants just hoping Russell can get him out of this inning and get back to the bench, and he can with a ground ball third base by Say, the Penguin. But not before the Dodgers take two more, put two more runs on the board and take a 4-0 lead as we go to the top of the seventh. With San Francisco up at the plate. And now Roden has to think he's got a little bit of uh, security out there on the mound because he's got a 4 0 lead. And Uribe up. But he gets a home run 1 2 or a double. And Uribe hits a double. And I do have a Uribe. Jose Uribe gets, hits a double. Roden gives up his eighth hit. Will Clark. Will Clark gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball second base. The second baseman is um, Lopes, and he's a three. That's a six. And that is an out three, so that's one away. One out, one on up at second. Mitchell up. They need a run right here. They got to get a run. Ground ball B, second base B, so Mitchell's out. And Maldonado comes up and he gets the 3-7, which is a ground ball third base, and they don't, they fail to score. 
and we go to the bottom of the seventh, and there will be a new pitcher for the Giants. So um, Russell only pitches six, and we'll exit after six. And the new pitcher will be I don't think they want to waste him there. Oh yeah, here we go. The new pitcher for the Giants will be Joe Price. One of my personal favorites. Love Joe Price. And I do have a Joe Price card, so we will put him out on the mound. And there you go. It's a card of him with the Reds, but still, that's Joe Price. So, And he might be able to take him the rest of the way. No, he won't. He only pitched 35 innings that year. So he pitched 35 innings, allowed 19 hits, and struck out 42. So he had the, he had the good heat. That particular inning or that particular season and LA will send Steve Garvey up against him and he gets a 5-4 which is a ground ball to the shortstop the shortstop is Uribe who is a one and that is an out one away for Garvey Rick Monday's up. He gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a home run 1-12, to 12, or it will be a fly ball. But it is gone. So Rick Monday goes deep, extending the Dodger lead to five runs. And this really just was not the Giants game. And lucky for them, they took game one. Lee Lacey is up, 2-7. That's a strikeout, two, two away. First strikeout for Price, and that brings up Steve Yeager. And Steve Yeager gets a 2-7, which is a single. And he's 5 for 7 with a double on the series and an RBI. He is scalding hot right now. And Bill Russell's up. He gets a 4-5, and a 4-5 is a strikeout. Second strikeout for Price, and he gets him out of the inning, but he does allow the fifth run on a home run and um, by Rick Monday. And so it's uh, really a serious uphill climb now for the, um, for the Giants as they bat in the top of the eighth. And we are going to take Roden out. Roden will uh, stop at seven innings. Didn't really have to, but they're going to go to the bullpen, get somebody else, get a fresh arm out there. And they will actually, they'll go with uh, Charlie Huff. So Charlie Huff comes on in relief. I actually think I have a Charlie Huff card. I do. And it's right there. And so there's Charlie Huff, although this card is him with the Rangers. I still have him. So Jeff Leonard is leading off in the top of the eighth against Huff. And he gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Fire is up. He gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to the short. He's out. And that brings up Chili Davis. And Chili Davis gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball second base. And the Giants get nothing there, so they're going to have to get at least five runs and maybe more in the ninth inning. But Price will go back out to the mound. Uh, Davy Lopes is up. He gets a 2-7, which is a walk.
Up steps Dusty Baker. He gets a 210, which is a double. And you got to think with Lopes, well, they, they've got a big lead. They're going to they're gonna hold him. Uh, the Giants will bring the infield in. Reggie Smith up. 4-7. That's a strikeout. One away. Infield is still in. Only one out. Say up. 6-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. And so now um, Price is buckling down. Infield is back. Steve Garvey up, and that's a 3-2 ground ball shortstop, and he's out. So you have to wonder if the um, choice by the Giants not to send Lopes to score that run on the double by uh, Baker is going to come back to haunt them. Somehow I still don't think so, but we'll see. Huff goes back out to the mound for the ninth. Bob Brenly comes up to the plate. He gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. Robbie Thompson gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Dodgers is Bill Russell, and he's a 1. That's a 1, so that's an out, 2 away. And that brings up Uribe, and he gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Lopes. He's a 3. That is a 15. Let's see what 15 and 3 is. it, And that is an out. And that is it for the Giants. As they uh, lose game 2 by the score of 5 nothing. They did not get any runs after getting 7 in the first game. However... That does tie the series at two, and then the next game will be in San Francisco's Candlestick Park. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.